the kitchen and examine the file. What's over here, though? Nothing, apparently. Vision. Shows the next clue. I see, I see. How do I... How do I... Leave... Oh, turn off. <laughs> Front door, a single piece of oak. She chose it carefully. Almost no visitors come. Kitchen sink, tap water, drinkable, dirty crockery. What a pain in the neck. Uh, I'm gonna try not to look around too much because I feel like I'm wasting time, but at the same time, this kind of helps me get credits. Let's go here. Landline, canceled my cell phone, numbers on the wall, take your pizza number, grab. Okay. <laughs> he sat there listening to the landline, basically. And then just nods his head and hangs up. <laughs> A place to think. Little Peggy's photo, taken 2009, smiling public gardens, had a fight after this. Huh. Tequila, product of Mexico, agave 1%, one drink after work, now more like two or three. Case files, exemption list, look for D, created two years ago, it's a solo job now. What should I do first? Let's go with Little Peggy. Did you hear about David's wife? Man. They were just married, too. Whose voice is I that? I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. The voice Sending a head. deadly message. Interesting. I hit the mic, I'm sorry. Okay. One thing I need after work. Tequila. Straight up. Nothing mixed in. Drag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the perfect stimulation for my left dead brain. Ah, oh, my cat just clawed my legs. So happy thinking that. I wish I could have a drink too. Oh, so she's, she's done with the bubble gum. Maybe I'll just try a little. So let's move on to the files. Eliminate the suspects. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. Hmm. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Special notes for Tim's body. Almost Who no blood was left. D. Those words keep spinning in my head. Traces of third party none. All fingerprints of blood, hair, DNA matches. With no compelling evidence. The case hit a dead end. Hmm. I quit the BPD. However. Under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. Holy, that's a lot of people. Oh, here we go. Scratch that out. 
It's like so intense. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do, oh Peggy. Someone's at the door. Amanda? Amanda, who's Amanda? Investigate the rattling door. That's over there. Almost didn't do it. You can't escape now. This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something gets of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. <laughs> that is really weird. Yo, David. Okay. Everything ship shake? Who's this now? I'm tired. I was about to go to sleep. Sleep? <laughs> you look ready for a coffin. <laughs> Forrest Casey, a detective with the Boston Police Department. And my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get, trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women, men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. Um. Coffee good. from a different place can be nice once in a while. Once in a while, all the time is more like it. <laughs> uh, I was a fool to ask you. Man, Diana is so stunned. Once Beard is the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? Investigation tips. So tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you. This, time. this music. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here comes the intro. David Young. See, his name starts with a D. So does his wife's. Who's that? Olivia Jones. They make it look like a soap opera. Yeah, now it really sounds like a soap opera. <laughs> Derek King. See, was it her as a little girl before? I don't know. And there's a gun. Interesting. My God. <laughs> so <laughs> now what? A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? 
Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. Oh. <laughs> so, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the Amanda. boss he was going to give up? Apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? No. Um... No. It's impossible. Yeah. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. Right on the money, David. Evidence lots of documents. Third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying after all. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Her eyes are different colors. I just noticed. Visions now? Well, no doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. Marshall's badge, bloodstains. Mementos found. So this is like a description. I see.